Hello, my name is Pooja. Welcome to our new episode of Around the World. Recently, Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany, visited China. He has become the first G7 leader to visit China since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war. Scholz held separate meetings with Chinese President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Li Keqiang. During these meetings, he emphasized fair trade and mutual economic relations between the two countries. He also urged China to put pressure on Russia to end the Russia-Ukraine war. Both countries pledged to strengthen joint economic cooperation in areas including COVID-19, food security and climate change, among others. Although Scholz's recent visit was the shortest ever visit by a German leader to China, it was in the global headlines as Germany is a member of the European Union as well as a special ally of the US. Notably, the relations between China and the US are known to all. Scholz's visit is also in the headlines as he visited China. Soon after, major changes were carried out in China's government and Xi Jinping's election as president for the third time in a row. Against this backdrop, several pertinent questions arise. Firstly, what is the significance of German Chancellor Scholz's visit to China? Secondly, why did Scholz visit China soon after the change of leadership in China, despite being a member of the Western and American bloc? Thirdly, is Scholz's visit to China a sign of a rift in European unity? In today's episode, we will try to find answers to all these questions and we will also try to understand the various aspects of bilateral relations between Germany and China. Actually, Olaf Scholz's visit to China has been mired in controversies even before his departure to China. Along with party leaders, coalition partners and other European governments have opposed Olaf Scholz's visit to China as they believe that Germany's strategic interests cannot be compromised due to short-term economic interests. Secondly, Scholz's visit to China will bring disgrace to the European Union in front of the world fraternity and weaken the European Union's unity. Actually, COVID-19, the Uyghur issue, the Taiwan crisis and the Ukrainian crisis are some of the global issues on which the European Union is irked with China's stand, so the German Chancellor's visit to China may annoy European Union leaders. For instance, Germany, along with European Union, not only imposed various economic sanctions on Russia, but also supplied arms to Kiev during the Ukrainian crisis. On the contrary, China has supported Russia in the Russia-Ukraine war. Significantly, during Olaf Scholz's visit to China, he was accompanied by a delegation of major German businessmen, which included the CEOs of Europe's largest car manufacturer, Volkswagen, the pharmaceutical company, Merck, and engineering goods manufacturer, Siemens. It proves that Scholz is also prioritizing the business-first policy of the previous government, led by Angela Merkel. Indeed, Angela Merkel, during her tenure, not only maintained Germany's unity with European nations, but also strengthened economic ties with China. Furthermore, the visit of a business delegation to China along with German Chancellor Scholz also shows the importance of the Chinese market. Furthermore, several trailed deals were also signed during Scholz's visit to China. Key deals include approval of bio and tech, COVID-19 vaccines for use in China, and a 17 billion US dollars deal signed between China Aviation Supply and Airbus a European multinational aerospace company to purchase 140 aircrafts. Scholz expressed his commitment to maintain economic cooperation with China while adding that China needs to make the right policies to facilitate Germany's strategic interests and sensitive areas related to supply chain security. Actually, Germany has reduced oil and gas imports from Russia due to the Russia-Ukraine war and is looking for other oil and gas suppliers. Hence, Germany will have to try and reduce its dependence on China, especially when it is trying to diversify its energy and resource imports. Recently, Germany sold a stake in one terminal of its busiest port, that is Hamburg port, to China-owned Costco, that is China Ocean Shipping Company. 
The deal has raised security concerns of Germany's European allies as well as the US. However, international scholars believe that Germany has made this move only to reduce its dependence on the US. Germany and other European states are also planning to reduce their strategic dependence on the US, but they are not comfortable with the arrival of China in Europe. The German Chancellor raised the issues of trade imbalance and market access with China. It is worth noting that when it comes to access to the market, the freedom that Chinese companies are not enjoyed by German companies in China. As per the trade data, Germany's dependence on China has increased in recent years. Germany's investment in China stood at 10 billion euros in the first half of 2022 and bilateral trade grew marginally by 0.9% to $173.57 billion. However, Germany's imports from China have increased by 54% in the past year. On the eve of his visit to China, Chancellor Olaf Scholz, in an interview with German media, stated that since the 2019 visit of former Chancellor Angela Merkel to China, several important milestones have been achieved in the relations between the two countries. China has brought a lot of change in its politics towards Europe and especially Germany. Hence, Germany should also bring changes in, the, in its China policy. Regarding relations with China, Scholz stated that he was never in favour of completely ignoring China, but he wanted a relationship based on equality. Recently, Xi Jinping took the oath of office for the third time after consolidating his power in China. Germany cannot ignore China's growing economic and political powers like other European states at a time when economic ties between both the countries are being strengthened. The US and Russia are still considered global superpowers, but Germany wants to stay away from both countries. Germany's relations with Russia are going through a bad phase due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In addition, Germany also wants to keep an equal distance from the US. It is a different issue that Scholz's visit to China will not allay Europe's concerns but the way the top Chinese leadership has welcomed the German Chancellor will certainly give relief to European states that China is committed to maintain healthy relations with Europe. The Chinese president has also indicated that tensions with the US and relations with Europe are two different aspects of China's foreign policy. Scholz also discussed mutual market access and protection of intellectual property rights for German businesses. While raising the issue of Taiwan, the German Chancellor stated that any international treaty or change regarding Taiwan should be peaceful and with the consent of both China and Taiwan. Human rights must be protected because human rights are of universal value and not an internal issue of any country. Scholz during his visit to China managed to strike a balance between all the legitimate doubts that existed within his own government and among Germany's Western allies, especially the US. Scholz distanced himself from external pressure and fulfilled the economic mission of traveling to China, which is ultimately in the interest of Germany and China. That's all in this episode. Let us note down the question based on today's story. Discuss the bilateral relations between Germany and China in view of the recent visit of the German Chancellor to China. Thank you so much for watching.